Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Monday the 2nd of June 2014 and I've been asked to have a look at this video that has been posted on Facebook by Neo Terra. As he says, uh, watch the sun go back in this time lapse and forth as it sets on May 26, 2014. Earth wobble. This is the ultimate proof that something very strange is going on, declares Neo Terra. Let's have a look at the video and see what's going on. In this video we see the sun setting on May 26th and you can see that the sun appears to be moving back and forth in the video. And uh, Neo Terra is claiming that this is due to earth wobble because the earth is wobbling backwards and forwards. So what is really going on in this video? We're going to take a look and see if we can explain it and use a bit of critical thinking that Neo Terra and his followers obviously lack. So we can see the sun moving backwards and forwards dancing about there. Now let's take another look at this clip, I'll play it again. We can see people in the foreground coming up to watch the beautiful sunset. They're taking pictures and you know uh, obviously that they are there for not a terribly long period of time we can see the sun setting so we know that this is not over hours it's actually over a period of, of minutes and uh, you know people are going backwards and forwards and, and we, we see the sun so if this were really happening the only thing that could cause the sun to be moving backwards and forwards like that would be if the earth was indeed wobbling by several degrees within a short period of time. Now what would happen if that were really happening? There would be massive tidal waves all over the planet, there would be massive earthquakes, it would be absolutely catastrophic for the whole earth. Everybody would know that something was, was very wrong. In fact, you could bend over and kiss your butt goodbye if this were really happening. Now not only that, we have to remember that we're all looking at the same sun. It doesn't matter where, where we are on the planet. You know, if you can see the sun, it's the same sun that's seen on the other side of the planet. It's the same sun that's seen in the northern hemisphere as from the southern hemisphere. It's the same sun. Now, when it's daytime on one side of the planet, it's nighttime on the other side of the planet. Go figure. And it's all part of the same sky that the sun is in all right so we've also got the stars and the planets and the moon and if the sun was dancing around in the sky because of earth wobble then the planets and the stars and the moon would also be dancing around in the sky because of earth wobble they would be dancing around at the same time as the sun was dancing around all right we're all looking at the same sky we're all on the same planet now as any astronomer with an automatic go-to telescope will tell you, you select the object in the database for the telescope, you push the go-to button and the telescope automatically slews to the object that you've selected. Now if the Earth was moving around by several degrees on its axis as suggested in this video, then we wouldn't be able to find the targets that we're selecting when we push the go-to button it just wouldn't work because the earth would be off its axis by several degrees and the go-to telescopes rely on the telescope being accurately aligned with the uh, earth's poles set up for the uh, appropriate um, latitude and uh, you know all set up correctly so that wouldn't work but even if you manually selected the object in the sky and you aimed the telescope at it uh, you'd very quickly find that the object moved out of your field of view. Now, uh, the larger telescopes have tracking on them to compensate for the Earth's rotation. Uh, the tracking would not be able to follow such an object if the Earth was moving around on its axis, as suggested in this video. Um, and it would be very obvious uh, to anyone that could see the night sky, even if they weren't astronomers, that something was very wrong. Now that's assuming of course that there were no tsunamis and earthquakes and so on which there would be. 
So I don't mind being very critical of Neo Terra in this video because I've seen Neo Terra calling me out as being a paid disinformation disinformation shill several times in the past. You know, uh, he, he he says I I work for the powers that be and all of that. So. Here is a classic example of somebody who has quite a following on Facebook who has absolutely no idea what he's talking about, who totally lacks critical thinking and is posting absolute nonsense. So what is actually going on in this video? And I've actually edited this video because uh, since my uh, first version somebody has pointed out something that I completely overlooked in the first one and uh, that is that this video appears to be filmed from a ship, a moving ship not from the shore as I and I guess most people had assumed on first glance but if we have another look uh, it uh, certainly appears that it was filmed on a ship a cruise ship and uh, that accounts for the apparent movement of the sun of course often the uh, simplest explanation is is the right one and um, credit to Paul Willer for spotting that and a few other people have mentioned it in the comments on my first upload as well but uh, yep there it is it's filmed from a ship and that is why the Sun is moving very simple explanation and just imagine if you were on a crowded bus people standing there trying to hang on and the bus driver was swerving from left to right wildly what would happen to the people on board the bus don't you think that they would notice somehow I think that they would and in the same way if the earth was wobbling on its axis like this by several degrees remember that the earth's uh, the, the sun's disk the apparent size of the sun's disk is about half of one degree across so we can see here that the sun would be moving several degrees in this video if the earth was actually wobbling and somehow I think that all the people on Earth would notice if the Earth was wobbling several degrees backwards and forwards every few minutes. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.